we've been having um, designer forum meetings whereby the residents meet with the architects and the designers to see how the new build would be. My role is um, really working with the residents, the design team and any other stakeholders to make sure that they get an influence onto the design brief. Um, so we do various different things but one of them is uh, the Dora Designers Workshop. There are regular meetings held with the architects and um, various consultants involved in the project and it's an open invitation anybody can go along and each of the sessions have had different themes they've looked at different things like you know the open spaces the gardening area um, what the flats are going to look like what the design what the kitchens are like what the bathrooms will be like so there's been different things at different times um, and so people can go along if they're just interested in knowing what the kitchen is going to be like or have a say in what the kitchen should be like they're very creative, they're very involved. Um, we've got lots of examples where we've, we've done trips out to other um, over 55 schemes to kind of give them inspiration, give ourselves inspiration really. We've been out to um, other schemes where we've then held the workshops within their communal zones. So our residents can actually see how these new communal uh, zones and these new buildings actually work and whether they work for them and whether that's something they want. When residents come to the Dora Designers Group and they make comments, says are taken on board and changes are made as a result of what the residents say. So you, you get a much better scheme because people are listening to the residents. We do have a, a, a core set of Dora Designers that I've seen numerous times and they have become like friends and you know you you do feel for them and you do want to get the best out of this for them yeah i mean we've got we've had an engineer on the on the dora designer kind of group for quite some time and a really lovely guy um, really interesting, got a really interesting kind of background. Um, you know, but he, he understands, he understands, and sometimes if some, one of the residents does query something, you know, he'll flag it up and say, well, actually, you know, and, and, and sometimes, you know, you, ha you do have to talk to, to certain people in a certain way, and um, I think having people on board like that really helps because they, they can manage it, they can, they can help, you know, they can kind of you know, mitigate issues but before they come kind of more profound. And what better people to really get involved than the people that are living in that environment on a day-to-day -day basis so we get lots of different comments from them they're very active um, and I think you know we have gained a lot of information from them um, and they have had an, a massive input into what we do actually because you don't want to force people to come into a meeting when they don't get the, you know don't feel they've got anything to add or they're not interested in it you want people to come because they're interested and they think they've got something to say that will add value and I think that they know they've been listened to and that changes have been made as a result of being listened to and we genuinely have learned a lot um, about things that we thought would be good but the residents have said to us that just isn't going to work and we've said no I mean, you're right so we've changed it. I think with Dora designers that I th that residents have started to understand how much of a benefit they will get after the four year build period um, and also that they're getting it to influence the design. So I think it has eased some of their, their minds just by knowing that this is actually worth it. This is going to give them something amazing for when they move back and something that they've completely had complete involvement with. Um, there's been a core group of people who've gone pretty much to every meeting and that's been good because there's a, been a level of consistency as a result of that but then you have had the other people coming in either out of interest and no, you know wanting to know more about it or because they've got a particular point they want to make about the kitchen or a communal area or the garden area that kind of thing. And also the door designers pass on the information to residents that might not feel that they want to attend. What's been really good about it is that we've had the opportunity to constantly keep them updated um, and make sure that they're aware of everything that we're doing and they're aware of the limitations that we've got, the issues that we're dealing with. Um, they've all been part of that. At one of the resident engagement sessions we actually built the flat um, in the communal space because a, l a lot of the residents there, you know, rightly so, I mean, you know, it's, it's difficult somehow sometimes to read plans, you know, they, they don't always understand 
how big their bedroom is or, you know, where's their bathroom. But, you know, we actually mocked it up and we hung brown paper from, from the ceiling. So they actually got to walk in and walk around the apartment that they'll have when they come back. This is what it's like. You, you know, it's a, it's a creative process. They have to get creative. And residents needed to know how big this flat that they were looking at was going to be and what it was going to feel like. And you can draw it on a piece of paper in 2D. You can draw it on a piece of paper in 3D. You can make a model, but it doesn't feel real until you're actually stood in that space. And I could put my sofa here. How big is this bedroom? I, you know, I'm going to be able to put my bed there. And oh, here's the door to the bathroom. That's when it started to feel real. You know, we made a bed out of a few benches in there. It was all very rustic, um, <clears throat> but it's great, you know, because I was actually presenting to the residents and, um, and, and a number of them came up to me after that and was like, this is great, We're really looking forward to it now because we can imagine what the space is going to look like. So little things like that, I think, make a big difference, you know, and, it, and again, it's tailoring it to, to the user group, you know, it's understanding, you know, you know some of the residents there who have more mobile, you know, mobility issues, you know, getting them to come in and, and actually use the space and walk around and, you know, query things and door whips or say, you know, this isn't big enough for me and how's this going to work? You know, that's great and that's all part of the design process. But you have to think a bit more innovatively, you know, you can't just look at everything in, in two dimensions, you know, you have to think, think, think it a bit larger. At the moment we're looking at kind of the structure and the layout of the building, but we haven't yet gone on to things like interior design, you know, which kitchens will be, will be specifying. And that's all really exciting stuff to come in the future. And there's even now, we've been, I've been discussing with Ian on ways of how we're going to be able to get the residents who already have moved out to be able to be part of that. And even to the point where once Dora House itself has been demolished, where they're going to meet, you know, so we've, we've already started planning on that. Because I remember I saw one resident coming in and I'm thinking, what's he doing here? He's moved. And then later on I realised that, oh, the designer meeting, they've come back for the designer meetings. It's important that people, having engaged with us so much up till now, what we don't want is suddenly this wall of silence for two to three years whilst the development's going on. We need to keep that interaction and that engagement and information about where we are if we've just put a spade in the ground or... You know, the basement's just been completed. All of that kind of thing is important for people, so feeling part of it. You know, it's engaging different people, and sometimes you have to put different hats on uh, to talk to different people. But um, as a group, I think you know they've really come together and, and, and done a really good job. I do genuinely believe that we've taken on board their thoughts, and I think the, the, the design is much better for it. The more people that get involved, the better, as far as we're concerned, because sometimes. It just takes a single lone voice as well to say something that nobody else has thought about. And it can be something quite simple and small, but, but it might have quite a big effect. And, and just nobody's thought about it or everybody's taken it for granted that something's going to be done that way. And it might not have been, it might not even be thought about. So that lone voice sometimes is, is what you need to bring it back down to earth and make you think again, yeah, we need to review that. The Dora designers, um, as in CNC, the design team and the residents. I think we've all kind of bonded over this. I mean, it's a very exciting opportunity and a lot of them realise that. And I've been personally surprised about how active they've been in kind of making some amazing suggestions for us um, that we will see in the new, um, new, the new Dora house.